Now it's time to focus on the different candidates running for president. We have our Kim ji to help us look beyond their pledges and highlight who they are. In the fifth and final part of our series, we take a closer look at the candidate for the Justice Party. Shin Sang-jung is a labor rights activist turned politician, and she's currently the leader and presidential candidate of the leftist minor Progressive Justice Party. Perhaps a third time is the charm, as this is her third run for the country's highest office. What motivated Shim to make the jump into politics was her work as a labor activist, which spanned 25 years. She was even on the country's most wanted list for nearly 10 years for instigating labor strikes in 1985. The three-term lawmaker is a former leader of the Democratic Labor Party and the co-founder of the New Progressive Party and the co-founder and former leader of the Unified Progressive Party. The UPP was dissolved following a constitutional court ruling in 2014 after one of its pro-North Korea members was imprisoned for plotting a rebellion against the government. At the time, Shim criticized party members with pro-North Korea ideologies and demanded their ouster. Shim takes a more dovish approach to security and diplomacy. She has said the U.S. missile defense system, THAAD, must not be deployed and believes it's not the best defense against North Korea's ballistic missiles. She is an advocate for nuclear-free Korean Peninsula, and she says the operations at the inter-Korean Kaesong Industrial Complex, which was suspended last year, should resume. And like all the other presidential hopefuls, she wants to renegotiate the wartime sexual slavery agreement struck with Japan in 2015. On the economic front, Shim's focus is on the growing wealth polarization in Korea. She says companies should implement a wage peak system in which older employees are asked to accept lower salaries before their retirement, thereby freeing up funds to hire younger workers. She will push for companies to raise the pay for the employees of their subcontractors to 80 percent of what the company's salaried workers earn. And she wants to ban the system of hereditary succession among conglomerates, and she has vowed that if elected, she would seek to give one-time grants of 8,700 U.S. dollars to every person turning 20. She also wants to increase maternity leave from 90 days to 120. Shim says her goal is to finish the race for the presidency with a double-digit approval rating without forming a coalition with other liberal or conservative candidates. Kim Tian, Arirang News.